We should explain what's going on here. Software meeting. Why do you have a radio? Because uh, uh, I'm the telemetry. Nice, nice. So, yeah, let's go around and see what people are doing. Okay. David, what just happened? Can you please tell us? Uh, well, you see, we, we plugged, we tried to tape the bullet connectors to the wrong side of it, and, and they came loose while it was running, and it sparked everywhere, and I dropped it on my head. It sparked. It did spark. That's not good. That is bad. Wait, let's get a second opinion, Connor, what actually happened over here? Um, all I saw was chaos, so... <laughs> True. Burning. Now we're gonna cut up some motor controllers and try to flash firmware to them. Yo, if you stand there, that's such a good image. I'll this, take a screenshot and send it to you. That should be like your profile picture. Nah. Servo, controller underscore servo underscore equals controller servo, state data equals and pointer underscore S-T-R-U-C-T dash. Greater than sensor data pointer greater than state data. Current state equals and pointer underscore S-T-R-U-C-T dash greater than sensor data. I've been debating if this Magdalene. So like these are just showing Magdalene, you. explain what you're working on. He's pushing a lot of changes. Wait, Promotional yeah. material. Isha, okay, but you, what is this? Personal project. Oh shit, okay. Ignore that. What are you working on? Uh, I'm using the Arduino IDE though, so it's not it's not like professional. <laughs> you can just well you've been using Platformio also. Uh -huh. That's true. Okay. No, just explain the thing, uh, not the so stack. I'm, I'm trying to get our main flight computer to serially communicate to our new telemetry computer. Very nice. And why do we have to do that? Because we don't want to. Like, why do we need to test it? Do why do we need uh, MCU communication? Uh, because this gets all the flight data, so we need to tell the telemetry computer all the flight data, so that it can send it to our ground station. So nice, see it nice. Time. Well done. You get to stay on the team. Let's go. Okay, but you have to cut out the parts of the cut. Most of this is getting cut. Who? Software, GNC, and aerodynamics are one time. Yeah. That's a wall. A little bit of magnetometer. <laughs> What's your name? Oh, I just said it. Ori. Ori. Park. Ori. Park. Ori. Tell us about uh, what's going on here. Um, we are, these guys are tuning our common filter, which is our fancy little state estimation algorithm. Colin is being himself, and Freya is doing definitely GNC work. It's 353. It's a personal project. Anyways, Colin, what's up? I want to pull up the... Wait, what? It's plotting. It says writing to file. Oh, there we go. Here's a plot. That is a plot. As you can see, it still needs work. I want to see sensor emulation. So let's okay. Sensor emulation. Look, noisy. Your, sen your favorite sensor, noisy. Uh, I mean, that's like probably a bad noise model, but yeah, let's look at this one. I'm sorry, do you have a better noise model than Gaussian? Oh well, yeah, it's a how, point how zero four. Okay, how dynamic of an environment did you shake this thing around? In? What? What do you mean? Well, because there was there were two noise things, right? Yeah. One that said. Okay, should be fine. Uh, point oh one. But that's past like stationary. Run it back. Semi stationary, and there's another one that said dynamic. We've never flown it on a launch, so I can't answer that. I I've just like shook it. Yeah, I did that, okay. and it's like pretty accurate. Like I connected it to my computer and I made it animate like a rocket live to see what the orientation was, and it looked fine. Especially. Oh, it's gonna be bad. Wait, why? Is it better than it would be if you were to just integrate it twice without putting an element of it? Interesting, interesting. Oh, he'll come back for the vlog. Anyways. This is what GD meant just, by nerd stuff. This is just nerd math. This is nerd math. Yeah, couldn't be me. Anyways, yeah. Ethan, you wanna explain what's going on here? No, I know. Alright, basically, we're trying to figure out, like, what's wrong with the common filter. We're trying to tune the R value. What does that mean? It's basically your covariance for how much you trust, like, one sensor or another. Okay. And how much we depend on it for the state estimation. So, right now, this is what we have. Uh, what we're looking at is the green is the state estimate but that actually flew on the rocket. So yeah. it's the common filter. This is the thing we're tuning right now, the orange. Yeah. And the blue is just your raw barometer. The, the raw, yeah. yeah. And we're ch trying to make it a smooth line so we can ignore these steps. We're working on flight view, basically uh, showing flight data in easy to use way. So this is like magnetometer and acceleration data, and then like we can view it for different time periods in the flight. You know, making it easier to look at flight data instead of looking at I don't know, like. Static. Yes. Okay, yeah, that is true. <laughs> yeah, that's about it. That's a lot of colors. There was and never a flight and then, so whenever it's done, anyone in the society or could just go to a website and do all the things. Yeah. Very nice. Very cool. I'm gonna ask for these for context. Yeah.
interesting. Yeah. yeah. Do you have anything to add on to that? I don't. I like college. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> me too. Me too. <laughs> okay. De- Not the old what do you have to say? For yourself. GNC is great. She was definitely not bright in the same Evan! Hi. You have a. Uh, <laughs> what are you working on? Uh, working on Flight View. What is that? It sounds wonderful, it's named perfectly. I wonder who named it. Yeah. Like, we're trying to figure out an easy UI for like software structural design and analysis to read our data instead of like looking at a bunch of like Excel sheets with. 10 different CSV files. That's true. Hey, what's up? What are you working on? This is a promotional video. Uh, we're trying to figure out why the FSM went wrong last time and come up with a way to solve the problem. Any progress? What is this? Uh, this is the FS, the current FSM. And we're just, we're just staring at it till we come up with something. Nice. That's usually how I work on anything. No, that's illegal. Dude, no, it's to, it's, to, it's to a satellite. It's to a satellite. Like with maybe four different. So to working hard to a on software. Then, I see. Why are your fins looking bad, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Are those the shark fins? Yeah! Bro, <laughs> the fin! Leah, what are you working on? Um, I'm trying to get the acceleration from... Um, the did you get to live out your dream? I did get to live out my dream. Now I got nice. to the same thing. Data from the accelerometer, half gyroscope... Very cool. Oh, okay. guys. Yes. Okay. So here we have um, a couple of devices that are going to go on TARS, which is our avionics bay. This one's a Teensy. It's our main flight computer microcontroller. It's an ESP32. Aiden's been working with it quite a bit late, uh, lately. Love it. It has two cores. So our plan is one of the cores will be running the whole telemetry system uh, on the flight side, of course. And the other core will be running our GPS module, which we're getting a dev board for next week. This here is a radio. It has the same chip that we use on TARS to uh, communicate with the ground, and we've successfully got the ESP to control this. Um, it's cool because we're going to have these two talking to each other during flight, since they have to access each other's data. But, yeah. Plan to put a buzzer on our SRAT altimeter. We've been working very hard on this functionality. Oh, no. Where is it going? Oh, <laughs> oh, down. oh there it is. That was very bad. Awesome, okay, run it, run it. Uh, well, if I had oil, then I could say, well, remember the last time. Okay, we so this is actual telemetry hardware running right now. Yeah, they, um, they, they got, they got charged in. And so you had nukes. You yeah. Know, you did have those. So you yeah. can see that altitude is rising, and then there's the dip right there. That looks exactly like the thrust curve, but the rocket is not flying. In fact, it is on the table right here. RSSI is accurate because we're actually monitoring the RSSI of the radio. And all of this is running on embedded hardware. That would be exactly how it flies. So this would have helped us catch most of the bugs that we would ever face. Um, yeah. We got it. We got to test 102. We got to test 102 what? right here. Okay, 102, I guess, is below the threshold. I'm going to go back to 105 and verify that it's not just. Like, we got to work. We got to understand what the actual interface is. Let's one sec. One sec. Because we are using a servo library with like a brush. Okay. Well, all it does is write PWM. Okay. What if I do 104? 
Because maybe five is the threshold. Hey, David, so we're T minus four days from launch, I think. Five days. How are we feeling? What do you guys think? I'm feeling good. Um, you know, I'm feeling much better than what we did yesterday. Yeah, me too. About the state of the rocket. It seems like it's good. It seems like we're ready for launch. Nice, Most nice. Of it works. Okay. Aiden, what do you think? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a vlog. Yeah, what's up? Yo. No, no, you had a question. I had a question. Oh, he didn't have a question. Oh, yeah, yeah. we're doing vlog. Yeah, Aiden, yeah. what are you doing? Uh, oh, the code that we wrote for the Friday State Machine is looking good. We were able to get some deep coding in there. Yeah, yeah. 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 nice, nice. Yeah. Nick, what are you working on? Uh, ground station stuff. Get it all nice, variables, nice, nice. Variable Changing the packets takes time. <laughs> Who else is here? That guy's not in software. <laughs> Let's keep going. What? Tom, how are you doing? Nice. Hey! Alright, you seem busy. Isha. T minus how many days to launch? I actually don't know. Four or five? Five. <laughs> five? Yeah. five days. Yeah. Yeah. Right, well, that should be. Ari, right. it's a vlog. What are you working on? I am currently working on changing ground station nice. software to reflect changes, convert the units from meters to feet. Nice. Altitude. And also, we recently changed the telemetry struct to include um, more GNC data and the orientation sensors. Very so nice. Now I will check how we can add the actual orientation. Yes. Magalyn, what are you working on? I don't know, nothing anymore. What were you working on? Uh, making the code work. What part of the code? Uh, let me see. Yes. This is true, yeah. Let's keep going. Let's make. What do you think about the launch? Here we go. GNC. I love GNC. Yeah. What do you? How do you think the Coleman filter is gonna do? I love Coleman filter. Yeah. 